Grimsley, have you any family? Did you never marry? No, Your Majesty. Who could I ever find who would be free to spend a lifetime with me? I'm here. Everyone here cares for the King. Grimsley. Your Majesty. Send in my dresses. Yes, Your Majesty. Perhaps this is good. Perhaps it is bad. Would you like to step indoors while we wait to find out? Warm up a bit, it is a cool night. Thank you, sir. That is very kind and generous of you to offer. If, if you allow yourself another rider, do not think I care, but mind he is of the right station. I am not. That is not what... There are no other riders. I am simply below stairs. I'm always jealous that the King's man has far better quarters than the Queen's man. To be expected. I am more important than you. <clears throat> I do not suppose you would allow me to cool down in your chambers later. I might allow it. Mm -hmm. What would you have the king do? A gesture? A woman like that is too dangerous for a man like me. Or maybe a perfect match. Your Majesty might provide the queen a gesture. What is he who refused to consummate the marriage? She could have seduced him. She is a lady pure and well-bred. You give me nothing. You tell me nothing but lies. I ask your help and you refuse to treat me like a partner or an equal. I cannot help you. Everything is in danger. And you keep secrets. You cannot leave England. Grimsley, what doctor? He is not ill. Then why the doctor? This is why she should know. There is nothing to know. Reynolds, if at last they would help one another, no, they, would, they would be together, have a marriage, grow old as one. We would serve them together. A lifetime. Great love can make miracles. It can. <laughs>